Namaste. The term prehistory was coined by Daniel Wilson and has been used ever since to refer to the period of human history before the invention of writing. It is the longest period of the human past. This period is also called the Stone Age as stone was chief material used by early man for his survival. The Stone Age has been divided into Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic followed by Bronze and Iron Age period. Paleolithic or the Old Stone Age is the longest phase of prehistory covering the time from 2 MYA to 10,000 BC. It was characterized by the making of chipped or flake stone tools and weapons and by a hunting gathering way of life. Microware analysis of Paleoliths suggests their use for purposes ranging from hunting, butchering, skinning of animals, digging of roots to making wooden tools and weapons. The documentation of evidence began with the discovery in 1863 of the first Paleolithic tool, a hand axe at Pallavaram near Madras by Robert Bruce Foote, called the father of Indian prehistory. Paleolithic sites occur in almost all parts of the Indian subcontinent, spanning the foothills of the Himalayas in the north to Tamil Nadu in the south and from Peshawar and Sindh in the west to Bengal in the east. In the north, Rivath in the valley of River Son in, in the, the Potwar Plateau has reported the earliest pebble tools dating back to 2 million years. Paleolithic age is further characterized into three parts, Lower Paleolithic period, Middle Paleolithic period and Upper Paleolithic period. The Lower Paleolithic period in India is generally dated from 2 MYA to 100,000 years ago. The Middle Paleolithic from 100,000 to 40,000 years ago and the upper from 40,000 to 10,000 years ago. Stratigraphic profiles have revealed a clear evolution of lithic technology from lower to middle to upper Paleolithic. Hence, though early Paleolithic tools including large chopping tools, hand axes and cleavers did not cease to be used, smaller, lighter flake tools were the evident choice by the middle Paleolithic. In the Upper Paleolithic also, while older tool types continued to be used for activities that required heavier tools, the preference was for small tools. An increase in the number of burins and the making of parallel sided blades now characterized by the toolkit. The successive reduction in the size and weight of tools is not only indicative of better motor skills but also an increasing brain size that facilitated the planning of such varied techniques requiring precision. The tool types of the three phases are believed to represent three stages of human evolution. Traditionally, the Indian Lower Paleolithic has been divided into two tool traditions. The Son culture was represented by pebble-based pebble tools called chopper chopping tools. And the Aculean culture was characterized by tools called hand axes and cleavers. Most of the tools were bigger in size and used for chopping, digging and skins of animals. Sites Bhimbetka is situated 45 km south of Bhopal in Raisin district of Madhya Pradesh. It is famous for its caves and rock shelters formed by natural process of weathering of the sandstone of the Vindhya hills. The Aculean or the Lower Paleolithic period deposit is the thickest and includes tools like scrapers, clavers and hand axes. The Belan Valley of Uttar Pradesh in the region stretching from Allahabad to Varanasi revealed a complete sequence from the Lower Paleolithic to the Neolithic and even later times. Other sites like Pahalgaon, Didwana, Nagarjun Konda and Bori in Maharashtra also revealed the Lower Paleolithic cultures. Technologically, the Middle Paleolithic period was characterized by tools made of medium-sized flakes. The assemblage now comprised of tools thinner and smaller than those of the Lower Paleolithic and included a variety of scrapers, borers and points. Sites The occurrence of Middle Paleolithic artifacts in reddish-brown soil in the Thar region indicates a cooler, wetter and more humid climate with more abundant vegetation and more surface water compared to the Lower Paleolithic. Middle and Upper Paleolithic tools are also found around Jaisalmer. In Maharashtra, Navasa and Patna are the most important sites which yielded Upper Paleolithic sites.
the upper paleolithic assemblage was marked by further reduction in the size and weight of tools which were now dominated by parallel sided blades and burins the techniques used was of pressure flaking which produced smaller tools with more effective cutting edges and also resulted in less wastage of raw material it has been argued that the main advantage of upper paleolithic tools was that being lighter they could be carried over long distances if necessary the upper paleolithic mainly sees the coming of blade tools made on flakes such as burins and parallel sided blades sites Various composite tools were excavated from regions of Kashmir, Madhya Pradesh, Chhota Nagpur, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh. Upper Paleolithic and Mesolithic tools were also retrieved from the site of Bagor in Sindh district. The Mesolithic stage, also known as Middle Stone Age from 9000 to 4000 BC, coincides with the beginning of Holocene era around 10000 BC. it witnessed a change in climate from cold to warm and wet growth in formation of rivers resulted in growth of forests and vegetations the mesolithic people were pioneers and experimenters who were preparing themselves to enter the cycle of food the remains of pollens at certain sites gives us hints to transition from advanced hunter gatherers starting cultivation and leading a semi sedentary lifestyle people lived in huts with stone paved floors and the only clear evidence in the reconstruction of the subsistence pattern of the region is through the animal bones which were found in large numbers these were mainly sheep goat humped cattle etc the economy was therefore based on a combination of hunting gathering and food production the period paved to many new developments the mesolithic period saw the tools becoming smaller and compact these tools were known as the microliths such as triangles trapezoids points blades and fish hooks microliths were generally made of chert quartzite agate jasper blades and scrapers through pressure flaking technique a major mesolithic site is Chopani Mandu showed a large number of geometric microliths, handmade pottery, hammers and ring stones. On the other hand, Bagor near Rajasthan is the largest Mesolithic site excavated in India and it has yielded three cultural phases in which phase 1 is dated from 5300 BC to 3800 BC, phase 2 from 2500 BC to 1000 BC. and last phase from 500 BC to 200 CE the mesolithic culture in bhimbetka is well defined there is sudden increase in population seen from the occupation of more caves in the area various microliths like blades triangles and crescents were excavated here the presence of ash charcoal and charred bones of animals tell us about the use of fire people mainly lived in caves but there were also evidences of people living in open air camp sites in peninsular india microliths of quartz and chert were found in the vicinity of mumbai chennai nagarjun konda and coastal tracts of visakhapatnam the neolithic or new stone age from 7000 to 1000 bc saw the advent of food production agriculture and animal husbandry independently in different parts of the world it is believed that a combination of climate change demographic pressure and different cultural and technological strategies triggered this massive change necessity is the mother of invention goes the old saying food production too if seen in this context can be said to have evolved out of necessity the first person who gave us a proper idea of how food production began was gordon b child the term neolithic revolution was coined by gordon child to emphasize on the progress that happened during the neolithic period the progress from a hunting gathering to food producing economy and the consequent growth of farming, of farming communities and settled village life with the beginning of agriculture people started settling down in one place sedentism a key feature of the neolithic proof of agriculture comes from remains of charred seeds of domesticated plants and that of animal domestication from the bones and teeth of animals showing significant 
morphological changes. Neolithic households normally lived in built huts of mud, reeds, logs, stones or withies plastered with clay. For assistance in such activities, they manufactured a greatly large assortment of specialized tools. Archaeologists take the polished stone eggs as the hallmark of Neolithic equipment. Unlike the lighter and sharper tools of the Paleolithic and Mesolithic, the Neolithic toolkit was composed of heavy ground and polished tools. Chisels, cells, adzes, sickle pestles, mortars, grinders and pounders and stone axes, bone tools for harvesting wild or domestication of plants and animals. Mortars and pestles were used for grinding grains whereas edges cells were used for tilling and digging the ground. Pottery invention of wheel and crafts like spinning, weaving and bead making reveal both the skills and exchange networks of Neolithic people. Sides The earliest evidence of agricultural life based on wheat, barley, cattle, sheep and goat in the subcontinents come from the site of Mehergarh on the bank of the Bolan River in the Kachi plain of Balochistan. It is an acerimic level with stone tools consisting of polished axes, chisels, quans and microliths and bone tools comprising owls, needles, etc. The Neolithic character of the site can be gleaned from bones of cattle, sheep and goats indicating their domestication as also the bones of water buffalo, which is the earliest instance of the domestication of this animal in the subcontinent. Evidence of plant domestication comes from the charred seeds of wheat and barley as also Indian jujube and dates. The beginning of sedentism is evident from foundations of mud brick houses and small cell-like compartments which might have been used for storage of grains. Evidence of the North Indian Neolithic cultures comes mainly from the Kashmir Valley and is represented by a large number of sites above the flood plains of River Jhelum. The two principal sites of the area are Burjoho and Gufkral, northeast and southeast of Srinagar respectively. The Neolithic people of Burj Home, beginning with period 1st, around 2700 BC, lived in circular or oval-shaped lakeside pit dwellings and subsisted on a hunting and fishing economy, being familiar also with agriculture. Calcolithic culture 4000 to 13000 Calcolithic culture This period is marked by locally available copper, which indicated the existence of sedentism. Copper smelting was also found to be practiced here during the period. This conclusion has been arrived from the traces of copper found on terracotta, cubicles and presence of broken needles, copper beads, sickles, fish hook, wire and rings. In the burial system sometimes more than one person was buried together. Ornaments were also found sometimes along with the grave goods. Discoveries reveals that there was also practice of agriculture and domestication of cows, sheep and goat. Various sites like Ganeshwar, Malwa region of Rajasthan, Imam Gaon, Chiran, Senor, South India saw, saw the, the advent of Calcolithic culture which was further followed by Bronze Age culture. In certain areas, the process of food production and its association and cultural developments eventually led to the emergence of proto-urban settlements and then full-fledged sites. If you want to know any other thing in Indian history, please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it. If you have liked the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.